What is up, beautiful people? It's Wolf Brother Mythos Kushranada from the channel Frost and Fist, and welcome to this video. This video is just a quick little tutorial on how to use the app Battlescribe for building your lists in Warhammer 40k. Now, I've had a couple of friends recently who asked uh, how to navigate Battlescribe, how to use it. They had a few questions on it, um, and so I just thought I'd throw together a quick little video and. Uh, be after we finished filming it, I thought it was pretty useful information, so I just figured I'd pass it on to you guys. And like I said, it was just meant to kind of help them navigate through, but if you find something in here that's useful to you in using Battlescribe, more power to you. I'm glad it helps. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, Battlescribe is the end-all, be-all. Of course, there's still the power of pad and paper, and if that's your jam, that's fine. And of course, it's always best to do it by hand if you're preparing for a tournament, but in friendly games, it is ease and speed you know and we did a one of our very first video videos was getting in on the cheap and it uh, talked about how if you want to test an army you don't want to go out and buy an expensive codex and get all your rules uh, right off the bat before you commit yeah it's a great way to get in on the cheap because once you build your lists you can look at the stats and all the stuff that goes with it in Battlescribe now some of it does require that you know what some of your special ability does but for the most part most of the abilities are listed pretty clearly in the stats of Battlescribe. Is it perfect? Not at all. Like Wikipedia, it's um, you know user generated. However, it is mostly accurate. And like Wikipedia, most of the time when something is wrong with it, the users call it out and get it fixed. So um, again, it's not perfect, but it does work for speed and ease. And like I said, it can be very convenient, especially it has a function that you can print out your whole list. If you've got connection to a printer, you know, you can do your all your work on the app, list building on the app, print it out. You got all your stats lined out for you, all your special abilities. I mean, it is pretty convenient. In fact, more than once, I mean, we've we've double checked our information with our codexes, but you got your list printed out and it's all right there and all its abilities, all its stats. It's real easy to play from your Battlescribe list. Again, if that's not your thing, if you're one of these people that hate Battlescribe, you know, then you do you. I think some people take it a little too far to the extreme. Some people are so anti-Battlescribe because they're like, nothing will ever beat the old school pen and paper. And that's fine if that's your thing. It's just some people make it sound so much like the speed and ease of using modern apps and tools. Uh, is so inferior you know to doing it by hand i think both are good tools honestly in my opinion but then again if you really hate anything that makes things faster and easier on your life are you walking everywhere or riding a bike because the invention of the automobile made things too fast paced for you too high tech you know i mean that's evolution you know we started with a pen and paper game sure but i mean we design things for our everyday use to make them easier and better. That's just my take on it. Like I said, if I'm going into a competitive uh, scene, I am more than happy to break out the pen and paper. I just recommend Battlescribe as an ease of use kind of thing. Again, always double check your facts because every once in a while Battlescribe does get something wrong. But for the most part, they are very good at staying up to date. Anyways, if you're interested on what Battlescribe can do, let's go check out the tutorial and what you can do with it. Battlescribe, by the way, is available for both Android and Apple products. And no, we are not in any way affiliated with Battlescribe. This is just because I had a couple friends that wanted to know how to use it pretty well. And uh, I thought I could give a few tips. But this is not a sponsored video, so you do you. All right, bro. So I just wanted to put together a quick little tutorial. I'm sure you figured out most of this by now. But I just wanted to kind of show you real quick. So I am going to uh, go select, start me a new roster, 8th edition of course. Um, Space Wolves. We're going to go, I think, for what you had, start off with a battalion. And then I'm going to add a force here. Boop. And then I'm going to add this to my roster here. Uh, because it's going to be a separate detachment in the roster. Okay, then I'm going to go Space Wolves, and I think, uh, like what you just did just now, you could add that to your same list um, by going Space Wolves, and I think it was Vanguard you added, boop. Or if we wanted to take an HU and those Thunderwolf Cavalry, Fenrisian Wolves, and Cyberwolf, add another one to the roster. Um, 
Space Wolves again. And then uh, Fast Attack is called. Fast Attack is called. Fast Attack is called. Outrider. Boop. Okay, so there would be my three detachments. Okay, and doing that, I'm going to click OK. Oh, apparently if you name your roster the same thing all the time, it goes crazy. So, we're going to change that name to... to... Tutorials, it's going to be. Or Tutorial. To... I cannot type. Tor... Tutorial. And we'll make this list for... So if you don't adjust any of this, there's no limit to your list. We're going to pretend that I'm doing a 2,000 point list. ka -chow. Then it's going to take five years to create a roster, because that's what it does. And it's still making a roster. Roster still being made. My phone is unnecessarily slow. There we go. Alright, so now it's going to show me... First we're going to start the battalion there. It's going to have the Outrider in the same list. And then the Vanguard down here. So let's say that... Your first one... And I'm just making up stuff, you know. Forgive me if I don't remember the, everything on your list, but... Let's go with your first one. Let's go with a... With a rune priest, and then a wolf lord, and terminator armor. Kachow. Let's give him a jump pack, just because I feel like it. With an axe and storm bolter, because storm bolters are amazing right now. All right, and he's gonna have um, my favorite fury, the wolf spirits, and living lightning. Is that the competitive way to play him? Not at all, but I just want to do it. Wolf Lord. We're going to give him Relic of the Fang. The Wolf in Stone. Kachow. Mix that with that Wolfkin. I think that should be fun. Give him a Storm Shield. And Malay Weapon will go with a Thunder Hammer because it's awesome. Make him the Warlord, Kachow. Alright, so I think you had three Blood Claws, which we need for our battalion. Special weapon will be a Flamer. Now that puts an extra dude in, so I gotta adjust that back down because I'm looking for a minimum squad of five. Same thing here. Minus one. Special dude. Who's also a flamer. And you know what? I don't judge. If that's the life they want to lead, let them live their best life, you know? What's up? And then lastly, take away that guy, add in another flamer. Because if there are three flamers in the group, it's going to be a party. Alright, so we got the troops there. So we fulfill that. What else are we missing? Oh, Outrider and the other detachments. Okay. So everything on the battalion side is fine now. Now let's go down here and say that we wanted to do... Uh, Wolf Priest, and I'm going to put him on bike, just because I'm pimping like that. Wolf Priest on bike with his Crozius, and he's going to put a Storm Bolter on that bike because he's a bayad ass. We're going to give him, I think you gave him the Armor of Rust before. Kachow. Okay, so that would be my uh, HQ and two fast attacks, or three fast attacks. So Sky Claws, there was a Cyber Wolf, there's some Fenrisian Wolves, and you had some Calvary. 
Personally, I like shields on all of my dudes uh, in the cavalry because they die so easily, honestly. Uh, which, I don't even remember how you had yours, and if that's not what you wanted to do, more power to you, my brother. I do not judge. Uh, I'm just going to take a a frost axe and a shield. I feel that they're more survivable with shields because uh, there's so many things that just rip through AP uh, nowadays. Oh, sorry, that was pack leader. Pack leader's got pack leader's got to have a thunder hammer on my scene. Why? Because I like to break shit. So we're gonna go melee weapon, and this guy's gonna have the axe and shield combo. Ciao. And this guy will have a frost sword. And resin wolves, probably not going to change them up, leave them cheap. Sky claws. You know, we'll give the lead guy a thunder hammer so he can smash some shit. Becky, let me smash. Alright, this last guy. We're going to throw in, just because I feel like it, a Logan Grimnar on Storm Rider, which would be way too points of deficient to add to this list. Uh, and since it's Vanguard, I want to throw in a Contemptor Dreadnought, some Wolfen, so by the way I like what you do with your Wolfen, and then I want to show you how to do something else. Let's say I want to take a piece of Forge World to add to my three elites here, okay? Uh, to bring my Sicker, uh, Sicker in, right, I need to add Forge World to this, so I'm going to hit the name of the list. I'm going to wait 20 minutes for it to load. Fix myself a sandwich. I come back. Okay, here we go. Forces. I'm going to add another detachment. And I know I can only have three detachments. But what I'm going to do, instead of adding it to my roster, I'm going to add it to my Vanguard here. Okay, because I want it to be part of that. It's going to count as one of my elites for my Vanguard here. I want it to be from Forge World Astartes. Add a new force. Yes, sir. Now, you, can, you see here it's been added as part of my Vanguard detachment, but it is also the Imperium here. So, I am going to go in and I'm pick my elite choice of my Sikorin battle tank, Kachow. With the Storm Bolter, we'll give it the Sponsons of Las Cannons. And a Hunter Killer Missile just because I feel like it. Even though I hate those things. And I hit the wrong button, so I'm going to wait another 20 minutes for it to load. And I need to put weapon options on my Contemptor. But other than that, so that added correctly to my Vanguard list. Let's go back and hook those up. It says I need a weapon. Give myself the Kara's Assault Cannon because it's good anti-infantry. And the Wolfen needs some weapons too. So, uh, I like what you did. Going, uh... Nine additional Wolfen, Kachow, five Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. That's way too many. Two axes, two claws. Now you see my list is in compliance and I just came in under 2,000 points. So now I could go back in if I wanted to add in some extra weapons and equipment here. And this is where you get to play on this stuff all day. Like I could just go back and play on my list forever you know uh, sky claws I'd be like oh man I can fit in more stuff I can take a sky claw with a, take a plasma on this dude wait no that'd be terrible because that weapon skill 4 what was I thinking you know what we're not taking special weapons of this guy we're just gonna fill out bodies Add in a Sky Leader, let him have a special weapon, because that'll be cool.
Thunder Hammer, ka-chow. Storm Shield, ka-chow. See, now it gets us up a little closer. Uh, add a couple bodies. Bam, bam. Oh, I'm over to by two points now. I'm going to go take... Storm Bolter off my sicker and boom, perfect 2,000 point list. Oh, and see, that's what I like about that. It tells you what you did wrong. I forgot to take off his. Nope, I needed the bolt pistol. I needed to take off the chainsword. And actually, I did all of this wrong. Also, I guess it matters to, you know, pay attention to what buttons you click. There's my Thunder Hammer option. So I had the right stuff on, just in the wrong places. But you can see, all of my warnings are gone. I've got a good 2,000 point list here. I've got exactly what you wanted. Or, I got exactly what we talked about. Three detachments, including a Forge World detachment that was part of my Vanguard. All ready to go. So, anyways... If you have any questions on anything I did, feel free to hit me up. I just wanted to film a quick little tutorial for that. Uh, cheers, my brother.